Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the greatest common factor of three numbers using prime factorization. Now, I like using this strategy and find it helpful when working with numbers that are a little larger in value and not as simple to work with. For example, the strategy of listing out all of the factors of the numbers in order to find the GCF can be kind of difficult and time-consuming when working with larger numbers in value. So this is a different approach, a different strategy to be familiar with when it comes to finding the greatest common factor. Let's jump into our example where we have 54 36, and 90. So we need to find the greatest common factor of those three numbers. Let's start with the prime factorization of all three of our numbers, starting with the prime factorization of 54. 2 times 27 equals 54, so 2 and 27 are factors of 54. Now 2 is prime, so we are done there. 27, we can break down. 3 times 9 equals 27. So 3 and 9 are factors of 27. 3 is prime, so we are done there. 9, we can break down. 3 times 3 equals 9. So 3 is a factor of 9. 3 is prime, so we are done there and there. And that's the prime factorization of 54. We can't break that down any further. Let's move on to the prime factorization of 36. 2 times 18 equals 36, so 2 and 18 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break 18 down further. 2 times 9 equals 18, so 2 and 9 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break 9 down further. 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 is a factor of 9. 3 is prime, so we are done there and there. And that's the prime factorization of 36. We can't break that down any further. And then lastly, we have the prime factorization of 90. 2 times 45 equals 90, so 2 and 45 are factors. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 45, we can break down further. 5 times 9 equals 45, so 5 and 9 are factors. 5 is prime, so we are done there. 9, we can break down. 3 times 3 equals 9, so 3 is a factor. 3 is prime, so we are done there and there. And that's the prime factorization of 90. We can't break that down any further. Now that we have the prime factorization of all three of our numbers, we need to look for common prime factors. So prime factors that all three of our numbers share, that they all have in common. Now in order to make it easier to find common prime factors, I'm going to list the prime factors off to the side here, starting with 54. So we have 2, 3, 3, and 3. 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 equals 54. Now let's move on to 36. We have 2, 2, 3, and 3. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 equals 36. And then lastly, we have 90. 2, 3, 3, and 5. 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 equals 90. Now that we have the prime factors listed, we need to look for common prime factors, so factors that all three of these numbers share. So 2 is a common prime factor. 3 is a common prime factor. And then we have another 3 in common. The common prime factors are 2, 
3 and 3. Now once we have those common prime factors, we multiply them to get the greatest common factor. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. So the GCF, the greatest common factor of 54, 36, and 90 is 18. So there you have it. There's how to find the greatest common factor of three numbers using prime factorization. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.